guys, 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 guys. Okay, I'm not freaking out, but I'm at a party right now, and Jacob Alardi is here. Jacob Alardi, Jacob Alardi. It's fine, so I'm just really quickly, just went pee for the first time, been trying to hold it in for as long as I could, just to figure out the right moment when I could talk to him. I'm just making myself look less wet, and then we're gonna try to talk to him without completely breaking down, okay. here first. Meaner. I was here first. Debit or credit? Debit. And swipe it or tap. It's declined. Keep going. And that's a new record. Woo! Three, two, one, go, go, go. Come and see it. Lift those weights. Come on. Three. Yeah, I was actually thinking about getting little Timmy in the Ooh, train set. She's perfect. No ugly crying. No ugly crying. Oh my god. Really? This is so unexpected. Oh my god. Oh my god, I thought you'd never ask. Okay, so I just found out something about myself that I didn't know already. My mom just told me that I say like too many times, so many times when I'm telling a story. If I'm telling a story and I'm like, he was like, and then she was like, because like, oh god, even like, oh! Oh my god, what is going on? Okay, anyways, my mom says that I say that word a lot, and I'm just wondering, is that a Pearson thing? Or is that a Gen Z thing? Do all of us Gen Zers just say like a lot? Or is that a human race thing? Or is it just a Pearson thing? Somebody needs to like, oh my! Somebody needs to buzz me every time I say that word because I think it's making me sound dumb. It's making me need buffer time to think about what I'm gonna say. Does that make sense? You know, it's better than, I would rather say like than saying something stupid, right? Although I tend to say stupid things with the word like anyway, so I guess it, I guess it doesn't really matter. But I just wanna know if it's just me or if it's other people or what, like what, what's going on here? I need answers. This is what it's like being a female. You no, know, that sounds like the craziest night. <laughs> um, gosh, did this thing grow overnight? <laughs> Um, it's not what you think it is. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cross my legs. Um, yeah, as you were saying, I don't think I've ever needed an iced coffee more in my life. Oh, ow, okay. Uh, let, let's just, uh, move it. Let's, this, this should work. No, that's uncomfortable. We're just, um, actually, what if I just went out, out the window? This is good. Yes, this is it. Here we go. You know, I have been holding on to these bra pads for actual years now, and I don't think I've used them once. Well, I better keep them around just in case. <laughs> Hey, what's up? Hey, uh, did you want to go to the beach today? Ah, I would love to, but unfortunately I shaved two days ago, so. Shaved two days ago? What does that have to do with literally anything? Oh, I'm not you, you, you know this. It's, it's just, it's too soon. Too soon? Too what are you talking soon. about? Too soon to lay on the sand and get a tan and oh, have a little fun? It's just, it's not gonna happen. I'm not under the ignorance. Um, I have a question. Why is it that on every single video that I have pretty much ever posted, the search is Pearson Recoil Gat? What is that? I don't even post, like, provocative stuff. Like, what? It'll be, like, the most wholesome video of me going to a Christmas tree farm, and then the search is Pearson Recoil Gat. What are you guys, what are, what's going on here? What are you typing in? How does TikTok even choose what the search bar is that goes on your videos? I don't want that to be on the, t is that happening for you guys or is it just my own profile? Like what, what's going on? I've got questions, TikTok. I don't have somebody at TikTok to talk to, but I'm going to find one. I'm having some problems. I always have problems, but this time it's just it's just wardrobe problem. I actually always have that too. I'm packing right now for my week-long trip to New York City, and I have no idea what to pack. I bought my first trench coat. I've never owned one, but now I'm gonna feel like Doctor Strange. I'm opening the portal! I can't keep it open! I look like a kid playing dress-up in his father's closet. Or actually, you know what? This trench coat is giving Hogwarts. Big Slytherin game. I have something for this. Avada Kedavra! Wait, what the- Avada Kedavra! Okay, well, it was supposed to shoot fire. See, the weather app says it's gonna be like 40s. I don't know what that feels like. How many layers is that? 
I know it's cold, but is it cold enough for a turtleneck and a sweater and a scarf and a beanie? Or is it just one long sleeve and a jacket? I have lived in Southern California my entire life and the coldest it gets is at night and it's maybe like 50s. Also a coat check, I've never done that. They probably even have that in Southern California. I just haven't, haven't had the pleasure. Okay, my other problem is we're gonna be walking a lot. So that makes your body temperature warmer. So then, oh, you know, it's really probably not even that big of a deal. I'm just, I'm an overthinker. And as a result of that, I'm also an overpacker. So you know what? We're just gonna throw it all in and figure it out when we get there. I took myself out on a hundred dates because nobody else would. No, it's totally fine. First stop, solo tandem bike ride. See, me being single means that I don't have to carry the weight of other people's baggage. Mine's already heavy enough. All right, and then I went to JCPenney and did a single photo shoot. Everything was going really well until, you know, the whole room started feeling bad for me. So the photographer decided to join in, which was actually very kind. Lovely guy. We're married now. Anyways, next I booked the one hour gondola ride. You know, usually people are proposing on boats like these, but for me, you know, I was just here to enjoy the ocean breeze and my smart water. My luck must've been turning around because Eddie trusted me so much that he let me row the boat. And let me tell you, these things are scary. They go fast, they go quick. I couldn't be stopped, I was still docked. <clears throat> then I went home and made a scrapbook of just memories by myself because I am a selfish piece of sh And then I got hungry and ordered pizza and it was in the shape of a heart, which was actually really cute. But of course we don't like cute things here when we're single. So of course we had to break it up and turn it into a broken heart. And you know what? The pizza slaps, so it's okay. I've seen this trend a million times where you dig a heart in the sand and take a photo with your loved one. My heart looked like a pancreas, so I just, you know, I was over it. Then I went home and cemented my hands together. Usually people do this with their significant other where they're holding hands. I didn't have somebody else to hold my hands, so I just did my own. Miley Cyrus said it best. And I can hold my own hand. Okay, so I'm cleaning out my closet, and of course I can't stay focused, but I have these pants, and they don't really fit me that well. Hang on. They just don't really fit me that well. It's just awkward, and I can't describe it. It's like too tight in the crotch or something. I don't know what, what's wrong, but I'm gonna cut them. This might be a horrible decision. I'm just, okay, I'm gonna start long, just in case, because you can always go shorter. <laughs> See, here's the thing. I wish I learned how to like sew, because I feel like I could get really creative with these, but I just simply, I don't have the patience for that. You no, know I'm just gonna, they're looser already. Put me on the dance floor. Why have we been cutting our jeans at the, the knee when it could be at the thigh? You know what I'm saying? It's almost like a little boot look. It's like a sock look, a long sock, no? Okay. I feel pretty. <laughs> well, we're done guys. I told you I was gonna cut them and I did. Ugh, it's still tight. Me cutting the pants didn't solve the problem of the tight crotch, but we simply are in too deep. Yes. She's free! <laughs> what I'm talking about. I feel like a new woman. I tried to style it just like a little more. This is what we got. All right. I still hate it. Okay, this is the first dress. Cute, comfy, and dark gray so that you can't see my sweat. I feel like with this one, every time I leave a room, I just want to leave every room that I enter immediately because... <laughs> Don't speak to me! Pause button! Oh, you thought you was getting some tonight? Psych! Psych! <laughs> I don't think this one's a winner. <laughs> berries and cream, berries and cream. Gust of wind? No problem. You ever made a dress out of Christmas tree garland? That's what this feels like. This one's all fun and games. But this is where the slit starts. Are you literally... Oh, no. No. Uh, 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 uh. Mm. Mm. But what would I wear? Call clock while in self pity. I'm booked. This is giving the Grinch, but yes, if I. Literally, I don't know where you would wear a dress like this. At least I have my Halloween costume for this year set up. <laughs> I can't hike. Don't hike. No, entirely. We got a dress in there. It's not going to be this one. <laughs> So 
So I'm 24 years old and I feel like it was due time to get my life together. So I started off by cleaning up all the clothes in my bedroom. And then I headed over to the kitchen and picked up all of the trash that was just lying around. And then I wanted to help out my family while they're feeling down. So I pick them up when they're in need. As I'm going into my mid to late twenties, I want to make sure that I am, you know, staying healthy and having a good diet. And so I wanted to get rid of all of the junk food that was in my esophagus because that's just not what I want anymore. So I want to return it, send it back and get it far from my sight. And then I wanted to repay any debts that I had to my friends, you know, return the money that I had once borrowed because I'm a giver and just want to make sure that they are financially stable because obviously Brent needs some money. And just like that, I'm already a better human. Different ways to use a standing desk. You could play a fun game of limbo, brush your hair, brush your teeth, put on mascara, or even help you get dressed. Or undressed. You want to give your friends a fit check reveal but maintain the suspense? Don't even get me started on the hard to reach dusting areas. Being short will never be a problem ever again. No hands, no problem. And those are just a few. Okay, cheers! Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you holding your glass like that? Like what? All right, here's Lexi in my fit check. Just hold the camera normally. Th this is normal. Your, okay. your hand just, looks weird. Just shut up and smile. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Man, shut up! Where's my dad? I'm all alone. I'm too small to be here on my own. Where's my <laughs> Oh my god! I don't want no cookies from you. My <laughs> pancreas! No. Oh! oh. Okay. You look like what? the sweetest little grim grim. You, do. you look like a cocaine like Yo, hey. <laughs> John Stamos. That's what I was Brother. thinking! Ew. You look good. Ew. Did you imagine Jerry still has that same haircut? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still live now, uh, Well, you see, when you get to be my age, sometimes you can't control your black. <laughs> As with cheese and wine, age gets better with age. Wait, what? <laughs> Life gets better with age. <laughs> you sure she's here? Or... Yeah, she should be here any minute. How long until you're here? Yeah, I'll be there in five. Okay, it's been five minutes. Where are you? Don't worry, I'm making my way over to you right now. Dude, we can't wait here forever. She's literally in the driveway right now. That's it, we're out. Oh, come on. Ridiculous. Guys, don't go. Where are you? There was, um... Traffic. <laughs> what are you doing? Texting. Texting who? My sister. Holy shit, Brent, watch out! Oh, shit. Let's get dressed for my mom's first stand-up comedy act. Oh my god! Sorry, I have literally no furniture in my bedroom. I have been living without furniture for seven days, so <laughs> that'll be on my YouTube channel. But my mom is doing stand-up tonight. Okay, I really want to wear this jacket. I got it off of Depop like a long time ago, but I've never found like a good reason to wear it. I feel like it's really out there and really out of my comfort zone, and I think tonight my mom has inspired me to also get out of my comfort zone today. So here we go. Okay, see, there's a lot of colors in this jacket that I need to somehow match or make work, so I don't know how I want I'm maybe white. I'm liking this white. The turtleneck is giving some sophistication, but I feel like we need like a pop of color. My mom said that she's gonna be presenting some fart jokes, so that's something to look forward to. I like the pop of color, but I'm not obsessed. You know what I mean? Oh god, I almost tripped on my pants. See, this is why I need boots. I need a little heel, otherwise I'm gonna be falling over these pants. Okay, wait! I'm liking this. I am so warm right now. I don't want to be cold at all. I'm probably gonna be sweating. I'm gonna be breaking out in a cold sweat, but I'm gonna be like, yeah, mom! This is a new guy that I just got. I look like I like am obsessed with Fleetwood Mac, you know? And I love that. I would rather run two Boston marathons than do stand-up. Oh my god, she's insane. And I know she's gonna kill it, so I'm so excited. The craziest part is my mom doesn't even want to be like a stand-up comedian. She's just doing this to get like, out of her comfort zone, try something new. Like, what? Okay, it's good enough. All right, let's go watch my mother win over this crowd. Yeah, I'm in my 50s. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> 
I have had very stupid moments, but I think this one takes the cake. A long time ago, I was watching The Twilight Zone. I was binging it all the time. And if you know The Twilight Zone, it's in black. And I was under the impression that a long time ago, before there were colored TVs, life too was in black and white. I would ask my parents and say, and this is how I found out that obviously life was not in black and white, like real life was colored. I asked them, how are people able to see like blue eyes and brown eyes if like everything is black and white? They were like, Pearson, what? what do we need to hold her back in school because we we should we really sh and i still think about this on the daily so ew they gave me a pickle pickle no pearson pearson no 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 <laughs> Brent, take my clothes off. Not tonight, Pearson. I'm tired. Brent, take my clothes off. Pearson, I'm exhausted. Brent, take my clothes off. You wear my clothes all the time. My sweatshirts, my hoodies. I wear your dress one time and you get mad about it? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, fine, I'll take it okay, out. no, it's fine. Oh if you want it, you can have it. No, you can have it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Here. What the? Dress. Oh my god. Oh my effing god! Literally mid shower. Okay, mid shower. I still have shampoo in my hair. Oh my god! I cannot believe what I'm looking at right now. <gasps> the worst part is I woke up with two spider bites last night, and just like seeing it is freaking me out. I hate this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I feel like she's like eyeballing me. Oh god! I have a really bad fear of spiders, and I have soap in my eye. Oh my god! I hate my life. I hate my life. I hate my life. That's it. I'm moving. I'm changing my name, and I'm never falling asleep ever again. <laughs> okay, drop, catch. Okay, so we have to be quick. Yeah. Okay. Ready? I left Pearson alone for 20 minutes, and no. <laughs> Merry no way! You already decorated. I had to. Okay. It's not even Halloween yet. We're skipping Halloween this year. We're going straight to Feliz Navidad. <laughs> what? Can you help me put the star up on the top? No! Hey! You could use that against him. <laughs> um, I think my Uber dropped me off at the wrong <laughs> place. Uh, this doesn't look like Denny's. <laughs> Nice. Nice. Oh, here we are. <laughs> Alright, kids, breakfast will be ready soon. Is she okay? What? Oh, yeah, she's just a restless teen. She'll get over it. <gasps> Sweetie, is it that time of the month? I've got a Advil. Oh my goodness! Halloween came early this year. Look at how scary your costumes are. That is just adorable. Did you make this yourself? Oh my god. I got candy for you. That's what you came here for, right? There you go. Extra large Mr. Beast bars. I know how much the kids love Mr. Beast. All right, now take care. Have a good night, y'all. All right. <laughs> yeah, tipping is for chumps. Like, why would I pay you to do your job? Mm -hmm. What the heck? How'd this get in here? Oh, that's so interesting. Isn't it? Yeah, that's... Oh. Jacket? Absolutely not. Okay, these are all my favorites. I'm not gonna risk it. Okay, what the f all right, this has been fun. Oh, them will meet for dinner, and then um I might be down to go on a second date. I haven't decided yet. Peace. I'm in love! This is the beginning of the end. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, this is like a stepping stone. I've always been so terrified of this moment, but it's finally here. I just received this in the mail. What what is this? This is an envelope. What was inside the envelope? A save the date. It's a save the date for a wedding for one of my friends that I've known since middle school. I This is my first wedding invitation that I've ever received. I've been to a wedding before like as a flower girl, but this is the first wedding that I'm going to as an adult? Whoa, 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 wait, we're getting married? Wait, who's... Who agreed on that? We're, we're like literally 16 years old just getting our licenses. We can't be getting married. Okay, does this mean we're getting, like, we're gonna have kids soon? Um. 
No, no. See, it's just not adding up because like I still don't know how to do my taxes. I don't know how to turn off a smoke detector. I didn't even know I was supposed to wet my beauty blender until like last week. What are we, what are we doing here? I think I'm having an existential crisis. Nope, it's totally cool. I'm totally, totally cool, calm and collected. Four days. Uh -huh. I've been working out every single day. I went on a six mile run. I know, you're crazy. Six miles! <laughs> you're crazy. No, dude, I'm, I'm getting my shit together. It's for real. Oh. Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Wait, what? Maybe it was that donut this morning? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, dude, I just feel like nobody likes me in this world. What? No, no, no. Monday, I like you. Who wants tacos? Uh, Tuesday? <laughs> Anyways, Monday, you know, if it makes you feel any better, my nickname is literally Hump Day, and still to this day, I don't even know what it is that we're humping. Ah, uh, sorry, sport, I was actually trying to throw to Thursday, but she's a little slow. I got it! I got it! <sighs> okay, as I was saying. Guys, I finally made it on the radio, check this out. That, my friend, that was Saturday. Okay, truth or dare? Truth. Truth! Tell us the truth! I'm not gonna be able to <clears throat> What gives you the biggest ick? Oh, the biggest ick, probably when they don't know how to dress. Or when their name's Andrew Davila. What? Ah! I'm gonna go with dare. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. Okay. Send a breakup text to someone you're not dating? Oh. Okay, I'm gonna do it right now. Okay, I'm sorry it's just not working out. We can't be together anymore. Oh my gosh. With like a little hiding face. To Brent. <laughs> Lexi, truth or dare? Truth. Truth, all right. <laughs> what is a secret you're keeping from your parents? Oof. Uh, they might be watching this, so I'm going to cash up. What? <laughs> and I just sent it. Lunch is on Lexi today. Lexi. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then she said, we don't sell that here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. <coughs> Pearson? McDonald's? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, where do you want to eat? I don't care. What about, like, McDonald's? I love you, but I think those McFlurries are adding up just a little. Oh, you did not! I'm just saying! I'm, I'm just, just saying, saying because I'm girl right now! That's what you want. Oh, Jake invited us to a party tonight! T tonight? It's 10 p.m. But, you know, that, that, a party sounds <laughs> awesome! Let's, yeah. let's do it! Yeah! <laughs> Jake invited us to a party tonight. Hmm. Or... Hey Liv, I was thinking... Oh! Is is that a new uh, look you're, you're trying out? Oh yeah, I've been watching a lot of makeup tutorials. I love it! It looks so good! You always are just so pretty. Hey Liv, I was thinking that... Oh! What happened to your face?! Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Hello? I think I Little I think I like this little light. What the fuck is going on, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> how, how do I even do it? <laughs> Hello? I think I like this little light. Are you okay, Lexi? <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's my dad. <laughs> Olivia. I think I like this little life. What? What are you talking about? Hang on a second. What? What are you doing? <laughs>